In this Map Suite MVC Edition sample app walkthrough, we're going to show you how you can use some of the uh, GeoColor standard colors enumerations to set the colors on your own styles. So here we've got a map of the world, and we've got a couple drop down boxes over here. And these are just a few of the standard colors that are available in the GeoColors.StandardColors enumeration. So if you see, we've got uh, dark green we can choose here, and our border will be reflected with that color and the same thing with the fill. So if we want to change it to a light green, we can do that as well. And all of these are updated. So this can sometimes be easier to work with than dealing with RGB values and such. If you just want a quick way to pick some colors, you can use the, this enumeration. So let's look at the source code to see how this was implemented. So here when the map is loaded, we're adding it to the page, setting the current extent, setting the map unit, um, all the standard stuff pretty much in all our samples. And then here we're going to add a shapefile feature layer of the countries. We're using a country02 shapefile. And we're going to set the zoom level set for it, or the default area style to it, to just a standard uh, sand color. So when the application loads in, it's going to be using this color. And also we're going to set the uh, border to pink. So kind of an odd choice of colors, but we're just giving, showing you the, the variety of colors that you can use. We're going to apply that style to all uh, 20 zoom levels and then add that shape file to the map and render it out accordingly. So nothing really special going on there. This is just showing you how you can set the different colors on the uh, default area style by using the color property and you know the different types of colors that are available off the GeoColor class. Now let's show what's, uh, let's take a look at what happens when the user selects a different color from the drop down box. In that case, we're going to do an Ajax callback to the server by calling the map1.ajax call action. And we're going to tell it uh, what controller we want and that we're going to call the standard color changed uh, method, at least on that drop down box. And this one we're going to call the geographic color changed. We're going to pass in uh, what color the user uh, wanted. And once we're done with the server, we're going to call the color callback JavaScript function, which is up here and just redraws the static overlay so the map reflects the new color. Let's go ahead and take a look at the server side code. And you can see we've got our two uh, methods here, standard color changed and geographic color changed. And for the most part, they're exactly the same. Uh, first thing we do in both of them is get our argument so we know what the user picked out of the uh, drop down box. And then we call this uh, get standard color routine down here, which is just doing a uh, switch statement based upon what the user selected to uh, pick the right enumeration and assign that to the geocolor. So once we have that, uh, we go ahead and get a reference to our uh, feature layer. In this case, it's our world layer, which represented our shapefile feature. And we set the uh, new outline pin color to the one that was selected in the drop down box and redraw the overlay. Same things happen here for the uh, fill. Instead of setting the outline pen color, we're just setting the fill solid brush color to the one that was selected in the drop down box. So pretty standard stuff. This is just to get the familiar with the different types of uh, colors available in the GeoColor. We've got our standard colors um, enumeration and also our geo geographic colors enumeration. So this is just what you would expect you know, from um, a color picker, this is more tied to actual physical geographic things and the colors you'd expect with them. So I hope this sample has been helpful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact us or you can post your questions directly to our discussion forum at thinkgeo.com forums. Thank you for watching.